So you want to know what the weather and the climate is really like in Salt Lake City? Well, that's what I'm going to share with you today, so stay tuned. So you're looking to learn what the weather is really like here in Salt Lake City. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the winters, uh, the summer, springs, everything. How much does it snow? What the different seasons are like here? And much, much more. So let's get started. Welcome back everybody, I'm Greg Speckman. I'm with the Living in Salt Lake City channel. If you wanna learn everything about what it's like here in the Salt Lake City area, then click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I do new videos. Lately, I've been getting a ton of people reaching out to me, asking me all about Salt Lake City and I absolutely love it. So if that's you, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, I'd love to hear from you and talk about Salt Lake City, Utah. You wanna know what the weather is really, really like here? And that's what I'm going to get into. Does it get really hot in the summer? Does it get really cold in the winter? Does it snow four feet or 20 feet of snow? What is all of that really like? So let's get started. We've been here for just over two years now. We've gone through all of the seasons multiple times now. So I'm going to just start off with fall. Since the first fall that we were here was really mild, I want to say it was... I don't know, it didn't really feel like a normal fall. The leaves changed and they were awesome to go see. And we went out into the canyons and did that drive and got to see what they look like. Amazing. So definitely do that when you're here. Temperature wise, I want to say it was like 50 to 70 most days. And then it snowed right around uh, Halloween. And then this year, uh, this year was a great fall. We had like 60, 70 degree weather for a few weeks and then it got colder and um, you know we haven't really had much snow at all so far this year and then that leads us to winter and the first year winter it snowed a total of about like four feet we had a bunch of snow uh, not all at once didn't really cause any sort of issue with drivability we were able to get around everywhere and then the next winter uh, we had that snowmageddon thing where California got all the snow and everywhere was getting snow and we had massive amounts of snow, record snowfall in the mountains here. We didn't get much. I want to say we got three or four feet of snow where we live, uh, not all at once again, and it stuck around a long time because it felt really, really cold all year. Typically, we get like this three, four inch of snow or up to a foot of snow overnight or something like that. And then you can plow and, you know, fix your area real quickly. And then the snow will just sit and you can do, build snowmen and play in the snow and all of that. However, this year we're waiting for that. We got a little bit of snow, I think maybe two inches or so. And it really wasn't enough for you to really play in. Dog didn't really seem to mind much. Uh, the roads were really, really clear this year. They do a fabulous job of plowing the roads here in Utah. So at least where we are, we can get around really, really easily. We do have a car with all wheel drive and then my Jeep has four wheel drive. So we never really will get stuck. I don't think no matter how much snow, cause I've taken it out where we've got massive amounts of snow and drove out in the snow where no one had driven. And that was super fun, but you can uh, get around real easy. As far as that goes, I should mention that moving from some place where I never really used salt before, uh, I found that salt is really, really helpful. We bought a bag the first year and I think we used three quarters of it. So I bought a new bag this year and uh, I just salt like the front porch and the steps and then the walkway and then around where we'll go get in the cars. But that is really nice to have. Um, make sure that you grab that early because they do uh, run out sometimes of it so definitely when we get the big snow then it's tougher to get so just get some on hand and then i do have to shovel a little bit in my backyard typically because our dog um archie who's a little yorkie he does not really like the snow much for whatever reason other dogs i see just running and like having a blast in the snow like your kids would but uh maybe because he didn't grow up with the snow he doesn't really like it so we have to shovel an area for him in the grass um, whenever it snows springtime is really really nice here and it gets warmer and you're tired of the 20 to 40 degree weather that you dealt with all winter long and then it gets into the 40 50 60 degrees 
I haven't seen it do like it did um, in Nashville where we would have this week where it was like 80 degrees and it feels weird and it's like it's this fake summer thing or something. But we haven't had that here. It just spring is really nice. Trees start to get their leaves back. Uh, it's not as cold. Most of the snow starts to melt, at least in all the neighborhoods. Uh, then in the mountains, you can start to see them lose the snow on the front side. Backside, I guess, keeps snow a little bit longer. But then the ski resorts start to close, and that's kind of the sad thing. When spring is coming, that means it's time for me to go to Moab. I go to something called the Easter Jeep Safari. So if you're into 4 by 4 in or want to do a side-by-side, -side, or you got a Bronco Jeep, any sort of 4 by 4 vehicle, um, you got to go to Moab. It is amazing. There are a ton of trails that you can do there, and it's super fun. We do trails. Um, we do that every year that we go. And it's super awesome. The first year that I went to Moab, I didn't own a Jeep. And I rented a Jeep with 35-inch tires. And then we went out and had a blast in that. And that sold me 100% on me getting a Jeep. So this year, I got to take my own Jeep. So you just have different ways that you can uh, go out there. But no, you could go to Moab and just rent something and have a blast. The summer we moved here in July, it was warmer. The first year, it was 105, 107 degree temperatures. This last year wasn't so hot. Didn't I don't feel we got the 105, 107. We may have, but if it was, it was only for a couple days. It just seemed hotter the first year. Um, and then this year wasn't really like that hot. I It was nice to sit outside and everything because you don't have the humidity. And then I did get to go to Moab this, la this year, right at the tail end where it was still a little bit warm. And that was when we had that eclipse thing. So if you were familiar with the eclipse, uh, we went out there and we camped for two nights. Super cool. It's like 20 bucks a night to camp at a campsite. And definitely recommend that you go do that. And then uh, one other thing about the fall time, uh, when the leaves are changing, it's a great time for people to take family pictures. So you will find if you go during uh, a couple different weekends, uh, when the leaves are changing at the right time that you will have a couple thousand people out there taking pictures and it's super cool to see. So um, this year we didn't do the drive. We passed on it, but I highly recommend that you uh, do the drive. So again, weather is one of the most frequently asked questions that I get from people looking to relocate here to the Salt Lake City area. They want to know, is it too cold? Is it too hot? Is it, you know, does it snow too much? All of that. And from what I can see so far, it isn't too cold. It's cold. So know that you're going to be cold. You're going to need to dress warm. It means you have to wear pants and you're going to have to go out with a coat and stuff. Sometimes you might even need thermals because it's that cold. But it's not like freezing cold like it isn't when I went to Minnesota or Wisconsin. It's not So it's not that cold, but it's cold. Um, hot. I would say it's not any hotter than anything else that I've lived in Southern California where it's gotten in the 90s and stuff. It's I, I think we have really good uh, summers here. And I think that's one of the big pluses about making that move here is all the outdoor activities you get to do in the summertime. And then the wintertime, if you're a skier, snowboarder, or you want to do any sort of snow activities, you get to do that. So you kind of get like the best of both worlds as far as that goes. And haven't had anyone that's relocated here that's complained about the cold or the snow yet, but we just don't get that much snow, I think, to make snow be uh, a big downer here. So until next time, be rad.